Hello to my beautiful viewers on Talk to Be. It's Talk to Be, baby. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here today. In case you're just seeing me on your face, this is Talk to Be. It's time to talk to people about this program. In case you're just watching, you have missed a lot, but then do not worry because you can still scroll down this channel to see all other episodes that you have missed. On this episode, mm, as usual, I've got a lot loaded for you. Do not forget, okay? Talk to be is not only about celebrities. It's about everyone that has got an experience to share. It's about everyone that have got a story to share with us. It's just about you, me, and every one of us. Anyways, we are all celebrities in our own different ways. Okay, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do. I am begging you, as you're subscribing, like, share, drop a comment. You can also follow me on my Facebook account, Abiola Ayomide Adebayo. Let me quickly go for a break, and when I'm back, I'll introduce my guest. And just in case you love what I'm wearing, it's as simple as this. It's from RTWB on Instagram, RTWB5000. If you want jewelry as beautiful, simple as this, then you can check at Jewelry by B5000. Jewelry by B5000 on Instagram. I'll go for a break. When I'm back, I will introduce my guest. Talk to B. 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 Share your experience. Thank you for staying tuned to Talk to B. All right, I have my guest in the house today. I'm here with somebody that is more like my baby sis. Um, one of the people that I know that I can always call on. You, a lot of you have different impression, different notion, but chile ile yi ko ti e ko ti e mo awo ogbo nkan kan i want to say awo ogbo nkan kan ni but very hard working lady somebody that i respect so much she's an actor she's a sister a friend join me as i welcome zaina bakari bakari zaina like she always bakari zaina okweyemi wa <laughs> How are you, Zainab? Thank you. So That's good great. to have you here. Yeah, I'm so happy you were able to make it. I, yeah. I know it's not easy. You're very busy with work, going back and forth, so traffic, tough. everything. I know. So I appreciate everybody that is able to make it here. Thank you so much, sis. God bless you. Later. Wow. <laughs> Amen. All right. So let's get to the business. Let's get to meet you. What you, what you do? Who are you? Let my audience know you from this program. Those people that always say, ah, and see you, it can be super. And see you. Don't let's talk about that. We will be talking about it. Kebe is a must. That's what I didn't mention before. Is a must. We talk about it. Kebe. We talk about you. We talk about daddy. We talk about everything that we know. Because I'm sure a lot of people would like to know too. But everybody has reasons for doing things. So yeah. it's okay. Let's talk about it. So let's start from you. Hello, everyone. My name is Bakari Zena. Okay. <laughs> and I'm so glad to be on this program today. Okay. Um, where do I start from? I'm an actor, I'm a producer. Like I always say, I don't have sense. I know. Ah. I know, even kicking it like this, he has no sense. Small sense like this, I, I don't, don't have. have. I'm a very playful person. <laughs> you know, sometimes people get to ask me, do you think at all? Mm. But yes, I also have my silent times. Time. But mm. then, I don't let those things get to me. Mm. I try as much as possible to 
to be able to hide so many things. I don't like when people see me finish. I don't like when people see my weakness. Mm. So that makes me play and joke a lot. Mm. Um, I studied mass communication and Moshida Vela Polytechnic. Mm. Okay. Um, take us into um, your background a little bit. Take us into your growing up. We know so much about daddy, 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 <laughs> daddy, 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 oh, papa, depo, daddy, daddy. What happened to mommy? I was growing up like for you. Let us. <sighs> well, I lost my mom at a very young age. I never met her to be precise. Mm. Yeah. I think I lost her when I was 10 months, according to my dad. So I grew so up with my thank you, sis. I grew up with my grandmother. And growing up was not bad. I have I was this or more get inside from school back to the house, from the house back to the school. So it's been like that for years. And um till I gained admission into Moshida Pola Polytechnic. Then after then I started living alone. Hmm. My dad, yeah, my dad is an amazing man. <laughs> That's my best friend. I know, right? <laughs> my dad is an amazing man. Um, when they talk about a parent, like a supporting parent, a loving father, someone that I can go to anytime, is is just like a woman. Hmm. You know, sometimes when I see through my father, I'd be like, God, please just bless me. I need to be a blessing to this man. I need to take care of him. God, please. My greatest fear is losing my dad. I can't imagine. I can't even stand. Ah, no. God forbid. Your God forbid. Fear is losing your dad. <laughs> is, ah, that's, that's one of my greatest fears. My dad is a superman, my hero. Adebo alete mi ni kon Okay so that is it about my daddy Okay I know that can't be all about your daddy I see you don't really get especially from maybe from our age to like your age and all of that you don't really get to see men taking up responsibilities as such So I have a lot of guests on this show and most of them have a lot to say about their dad in a different way. Oui. Do you understand? So it's always that my dad, daddy will never everybody can. <laughs> my dad, nobody dares. Yeah, my dad, I can't talk yeah, to yeah. her. My dad, it's always it's like, that. like that. So seeing a daddy, my daddy, my daddy, <laughs> from another Mother. perspective, from, from another angle, is something that we should talk about, celebrate, learn from, let the world know. Uh, Yoruba will say, um, Ejeka Rojo Olore, Kariye Gwa, Rojo Tika, or something like that. So it means that let's talk about, we, we keep talking about the bad ones. Let's talk about oh, the, the good ones. ones. Let's talk about oh, yeah. what are they doing differently. So tell us what's different about your dad. I understand the fact that maybe if your mom was there, yeah. maybe it would be a... But your mom wasn't there at age of 10 months, was less than a year. Mm -hmm. And a man stood by you, still standing by you. So let's talk about something that is special about him. And then... I, were you the only one your mom left? Do you have other siblings? Did he, yeah, did he get married to another person? We really like to talk about your dad, really. Such mm. an amazing man. We should not just, you know, just overlook the things that he has done, the sacrifices yeah. and everything. Mm. Yeah. Um, like I said, my, my grandma trained me all the way, yes, I think. When I lost my mom, you know, I think the trauma of everything was was in his head. So he dropped me for my grandma. Mm -hmm. So while growing, I could remember vividly that he comes checking and all. So there was a time, I think, my first time in school, it was my dad that took me to school. I could remember, like, it's still very mm -hmm. fresh. fresh. So I always tell people, there are some things you don't do in the presence of this children you think oh they are still small mm -hmm. they were uh why would they 
something that happened when they were three. No, I, 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 I could refresh back maybe when I was like three year old mm. till this minute, and I like oh. So it was this man that took me to school. He registered me in my first um, nursery and primary school then, somewhere around Bajilaye. So he got me food and everything. I was like, oh, my daddy, my daddy. daddy. <laughs> <laughs> so he would just come checking, you know. For years, I was with my grandmother, and um, I I loved the way she, she trained me. Like, I am walking in that path, and I'm so glad that... I took, I I took some step. I I grew up knowing that okay, these are the things you should do as a lady. This is how you should walk. This is how you should carry yourself. In between, my dad would come. He would go back. Sometimes I might I might not see him for months. And but when um, when I was in secondary school, he came checking and all till till I gained admission. I've I've never lived with him. Hmm. So, and then you are you are still this close? Very close. We talk a lot. My daddy is an abiyamo. I said, this man, there's a way that he does his things, you know. Sometimes when I say, daddy, I'm just tired and, ah, uh, oh, oh we, we, we don't say that. He will take me at the lake. to ba genius caster. Wa she film. You don't say that. I don't know the man from the man. Hello, what? Can you cook you know? The way he caramels everything, <laughs> and I'll just be like, okay, this man. Are you an only child? No, okay. I have a, I have a sister, okay. like my half sister. I think he got married maybe seven years after he lost my mom, and she looks so much like me. Your sister? Yeah, I have a sister. Just one? I have a sister. I have a brother. Okay, okay. Yeah. So he got married to another woman. Mm -hmm. Like, how long? Are they still together? Yeah, they are still so, together. So they have, all, so you have other siblings for me, but from your mom, you were the first born, mm -hmm. and she had only you. Yeah. What was the cause of her death? If you tell us, I think she was sick. She was just sick. So I remember my dad told me that um, she died in his arms. Uh, like I said, that day, she, she, yeah, he finished feeding her pap and they still had a little conversation like, okay, I'm getting better and all, you know, she, and she died just like that. Just like that. Just like that. But she's been sick before then. Okay. So how did you journey into the industry? <sighs> like I said, I already had this very strong passion for the industry right from time. It's not something I just I just thought about and I said, okay, let me do it. I already had it in plan while growing. So um, I was in arts class from, from time. Like I said, I read mass communication. So I told my dad, my dad always tell me, lawyer, I said, Debo. We are really close, so <laughs> sometimes I just address him by his name. Debo. I mean, you call him Bio. Similarly, you want there. Joe Shelo. What for me? Ah, and Joe. It's either I am a newscaster or an actor. So before I gained admission into Mapoli, I was already making efforts. I I tried Unilag. It didn't work. So I said, okay. Since Unilag is not working, I wanted to join or do far then. Okay. And I said, okay, let me just do something. I better put up people who are good. I know that they have actors there that are very good and you know. So I met with my boss, Omo mm. Umiajiboye. One time like that. I was in a salon and I felt okay. I went with my friend. And I'm this shy type. I don't like approaching people that much. So my friend just said, What? I'll go and meet her. If she snubs me, I'll put her up on BBM and say, we met with one actor like that too. Wow. She was rude to us. And lo and behold, she was a nice person. It was my friend that, that walked up to her and she, she attended to us well. So I told her, um, I just gained admission and I would like to pursue my career. And she said, oh, okay. 
um where do you want to start from who do you want to join i said ah, maybe you do like the color maybe she will be anything she now said okay i'll give you their number you know i just thought about it oh, let me just stay with this auntie mm. so ever since i i started with her and it's been an amazing journey over the years because Auntie Ume has been supportive. I always say this and I'll keep saying it. Mm. She has been very, very supportive and I will never take her love for granted. Granted. Yes, so. Wow. That fair enough. I didn't even know she's your boss. Oh, she is. I'm um, too for me certificate. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing it for the first time, actually. Oh, really? She is. Mm. Okay, so let's go a bit deeper and, um, okay, no, 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 not in that. I mean, I like, you are delving into my private life, it is private life that we talk about here. But there is one thing that um, I'm sure you know it, you've heard it, a lot of people say about you, especially fans. And I know that it's so easy for us to judge people by what we say. So we're going to talk about two things. First, we're going to talk about the perspective of people about you. And then we're going to talk about liposuction. Okay? So now, <laughs> I know you're ready for me now. <laughs> okay, so. Auntie Biola. We are going there. Don't worry. Let me carry my bag. Okay, so now. A lot of people they see you as ah, I'm only taking wash on you. I'm only shaking it on you. How do you see that? What do you see about yourself? How do you feel when people say that to you? Or what's okay? Let me ask that. Let me let me let me drop it there. Let me a bit keep your back there. Balenciaga, <laughs> balance again. <laughs> so what 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 do you say to that how do you feel? you know a lot of people say that right mm -hmm. uh -huh. so i tell people a man she be a keka ka color of boro boro to so lay it to go ma pe ni yen wa ju wa ju aye man aye so bai ni pa this is what i've read and i'm sure that i see comments even you, you remember somebody attacked me one time that was saying something on your page i was like oh <laughs> People. She didn't know what I was saying. So I know you hear, have a lot of that. So how do you feel when people say, ah, this one, she's so indecent, she doesn't dress decently, she doesn't kiniko kiniko. How do you feel about that? <laughs> mm -hmm. To be candid, stuff like that does not get to me. Wow. Because in my head, I feel like I'm an adult. You don't tell me what to do. Fine. We are public figures. And um, like we stand as, as an example for so many people. people. We shouldn't mislead them. But That's at the same time, these people should understand that we also have our own lives. Aside being on screen and everything. So sometimes I just want to live my life Forgetting the fact that I'm a celebrity, you know, I just want to be comfortable. I want to, I just want to be me. Even before this body thing, I always wear shorts. I always, you know, yeah. so it's, it's not, it's not new, but maybe because it's now a little Big bit down. bigger and everything. So it's obvious to people. And I would say that I'm not who I used to, I'm not who I am two years ago. We hmm. keep growing every day. That's right. So I think it's, it's, it's one of the reasons why they get to talk, talk, talk. And at the same time, they'll say, ah, I'm a young woman, what's money will be? Mm. Mm. You know, sometimes fans, they overreact. And you'll be like, ah, ah. There are so many shitty things you all do behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. But because we are celebrities, celebrities, you just come and, you know, Talk to us anyhow. So sometimes I just I, I'll just leave the comment section and say, "Am I rude, Joe?" <laughs> Is there any comment that has ever gotten to you? Oh yes. Well, what comment was that? You know, yeah, obviously on my birthday, um, I'm expected to be happy, yes. and lively, and all sorts. So it started from um, when Rhea Hawks came to surprise me and all that. I was in my room. I lodged somewhere around GRE. So, you know, my brother was with my phone and it was already taking long. Like, what's happening? So, 
I came downstairs and I met like three, um, like three different surprises. I was like, okay, this is why you delayed that gene day, right? So, okay, no problem. What should we do? They wanted to start the surprise thing and they stopped us at the hotel. So I moved into the compound. Okay, you all should shall do your surprise. Hey, shall she? I've, I got you guys, no problem. But me, oh, I'll still have fun here today. They came to meet us again. They were, you're not allowed to um, to have surprise and this thing. You're not allowed to have surprises here, blah, blah, blah. Uh -uh. So, and I, I was not like, okay, can you cash by? And I said, this phone, they will not spoil it. They were already feeling bad that at first I got them. Secondly, they were not allowed to pull up the surprise thing. So I told them, let's step out. I I didn't have it in mind that they were they were fixing the bad roads. So I, I said, okay, and you can boss the other side, blah, blah, blah. So we crossed to the other side and they had the surprise. It was such an emotional day for me. So um royal hogs was on live so she was with my phone and she just posted the video you know i already danced in the sun and everything i was on low court i just saw different comments after the surprise so i took my phone to continue the celebration and reply people on um instagram on instagram over 1000 negative comments look at you skin like fura Skin like no no, very ugly, dirty skin. Hey, Shebi Kiniko, photographers are trying in Nigeria. Look at this, look at that. Go back to her birthday picture. You will see that it was edited. Look at her skin, very dirty looking. Ah, uh -uh. at first I looked. Which skin her. is dirty looking? This I one I'm seeing. I looked at my skin again, like ah. Uh -uh. Dirty they looking. changed my skin. I went to the videos of my pictures. Automatically, there will be a professional touch on your pictures, but it wasn't bad at all. No, so I went to my videos. I was like, ah, in fact, my videos are even more finer than the picture. Ah, what's happening? I saw at 35, your mate has given birth. The first person that will do body that that, that, that will be stagnant. Can it come? Your mates are uh, your mates are having houses, are changing cars. You you are just there, you know. But like I said, people say that on your birthday. On my birthday, day. no single. You know, I just had like maybe ten people saying it's a birthday for God's sake. Oh, this is where she she's living. Ah, Instagram and fake life. You can't tell me that. That's a window. See that window. See the broken kinnik or See the sand. Eh? All these people. So it's fake life you are living. Kinnik I started reading. I didn't read it that day. It was like the second day. So I took my time to read it. I now decided that, you know, let these people go through just a bit, like a pinch of what we go through. So I took my time. I went on their pages and took a screenshot of few of them. And I'll put it up. And I turned it into a reels. Olemika. <laughs> 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 so I made a voiceover in Yoruba. Me or Job Edimi. I want sushi. And surely broke London comment section. I, I just said all that. And I posted it. You know, few of them, few of them felt it. Mm. They could not take it. They started looking for my number. Mm, I was so number. excited. Okay. So I got you. It feels to be trolled, yeah. I was so excited. People started calling me from Germany, from UK. Please, Kineko and Susanna, blah, blah, blah. You know. Few of my strong fans, they cost, they went into um, one woman's um, DM. They fired her. The woman came into my DM and said, You almost a nabu ye. Almost she. To a cut if she calls sugar. No, ni jere. What? It was, it was oh, too it. much. It was for too what? much on me. And I was like, what did I do? I was in my room looking for my brother because I wore a short um, romper. 
Kiwalo Day. If it was Rihanna, you all would be Elena. We have so many people that, that did lip, liposuction and you all don't go under their pages to, to say all this. There are so many people walking naked on Instagram. What have I done just because I wore a short romper? Why, why, why do I deserve? Why, 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 why? Can I not a gen tabon? You know, it was crazy. So they started calling me. And Cizena, it wasn't intentional. I just dropped a kinico kinico. So my friends were calling me for my bell kuta, different places. Hey, 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 please bring the post down. I said, I'll bring it down. But I, let me take my time. Mm. You know, it was after then I saw um, Auntie Biodo to posted about a troller that troller her mm. concerning her daughter. You know, sometimes we all need, I saw someone too that went on that, um, um, that the emission at this page to see all sorts, you know, it was during the election period and the country was really hot. Then people were just talking and passing stupid aggressions on, you know, so I did that and I was so satisfied with myself that I was able to retaliate a bit. So I didn't know that, you know, you don't just talk to people. You don't know what people are, are going, going through. through. And it was on my birthday. Can you just leave that day for me? At just least. celebrate me. You don't know what's warranted the whole thing. Why I had to be outside doing the surprise and everything. And I, I didn't want to um, call you know, I didn't want to talk about the hotel, so it won't look like uh, I'm trying to bring, to bring them, bring them down. down. So I just, I just left them that it, it's not their fault. Mm. That it was me that went to lodge there that cost the whole thing. So it cost me a lot just because I, I lodged in that hotel, you know. I had so many, so many. <sighs> It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Either you like it or not, there will always be people like that. Mm -hmm. You can't get everybody to like, okay, you, they abuse you for, for or they insult you for, um, for indecent dressing, right? They insult, they have insulted me before for what I uh, said, ah, how did she put it? In fact, I, 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 I posted it. No, not that I posted it on my page, but I pinned the comment so people could see it. They said, for they insulted me for proper dressing. Yes. Somebody said I should have gone further than it was a long time ago, though. Yeah. You, you yeah. saw it. That if I would just change, I am talented. If you just change how you dress, that's why you have not gone past where you are till now. So they insulted me for dressing proper. They insulted you for improper dressing. So what would please you guys? So, do you understand so it's just you just know that some people are naturally just not happy so it's know, okay right? so, Along I do one. may god heal you and you are happy. amen okay so now let's go to my next question why did you choose to do lipo what 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 uh, what inspires it for you somebody told me she said ah Ewa she lipo, ewa she kidiko, it will get to, is is already becoming a norm. You know, she was trying to say, Ema wori ma di wo fo di. Mo la ha wo. Eh? So, 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 what, what inspired it for you? Different people have different reasons for doing different things, okay? And for whatever you choose to do with yourself, with yourself. So, what inspired you as a person, you, Okoyemi, to do it? You know, at first, it, I did it because of my career. Yes. You did lipo because of your career? Yeah. Ah, tell um, me about it. <laughs> you know, I'm a perfectionist, you know, okay. and um, as a public figure, you have to, you know, you have to come out looking, looking your best. You don't have to go extra. You don't have to be fake about it. But me as a person, I'm used to waist, waist training. Okay. I wear waist trainer a lot because I'm a perfectionist. I want to wear this dress and make it look perfect. You know, you want to snatch. Yeah, snatch. Yes, I like to look snatched. That's okay. All. Snatch or smart. Snatch. Snatch. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like to look snatched at 
all time, you know. And, you know, sometimes there are some outfits you want to wear. As, as, as an actor, you're not supposed to... I'm not saying those that has big belly. I'm understand. not saying it, it's not good. I'm not saying it's bad, you know. But for me, I just want to be in between. I want to play that um, um, wifey role looking so you know, so beautiful for my husband. I want to play that, um, that lady, lady role. I just, I just want to be myself. I just, I, I actually did it to boost more of my confidence because I won't say there was, uh, I won't say I had low self-esteem so before. No, but you know, when you do some things, you just okay as a, as a lady, it's actually it, it actually boosts my confidence, you know. So that was just it. I I went there because I wanted it. I wanted my stomach to be more flat, you know. I it was just for me, for myself. I just want to be happy, not because of anything, not because of anybody. I did it for myself. So that was. Guys, do you like what I'm wearing? Yes, you can also get yours. It's available on our Instagram page, RTWB5000. RTWB5000. Do you want jewelry? It's also available at Jewelry by B5000. You can get it. It's not too expensive. You won't have to stick your neck out to get it, trust me. So just send us a DM and we're at your service. I love you guys. So ever since you've done it, is there a difference? I what what has changed about you? Nothing really. I'm still the senseless person that I am. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, uh, just the fact that I, I stopped waist training to four seven. Okay. I had folds here. Mm. So I have to actually. Yeah, it was I know it can be annoying. Yeah, it doesn't make you feel, feel good. good. So that was the main reason I went for it. That uh, this food, if I can get rid of, of it, it, and it, if you have the money, I don't think it's it's a big deal. So what was your dad's take on it? My dad came. Say I will not say hello, sir. Move she. Liposuction, kidney liposuction, move along your fats. Yeah, I didn't tell him anything. Of it. Just when you saw him, it was just like, Kill on it, did you want to be toy? Then the kidney can call us. So anytime my dad was to address you, he would just tell me that, Baby, what leg, baby, just are you serious? Go <laughs> get me all of a sudden. You dare call the day, your oh, kidney cock in the cars. Daddy, any at the dish. He didn't understand. He didn't understand. But it was later, you know, got to know that. Oh, okay. You know, so you not say it in Ijebu. You were I don't understand the Jebu because they didn't come to I was just be laughing that Daddy, can you just can you just stop this? <laughs> so I didn't tell him. Oh well. I just, I just, if he's not criticizing you. Who are we to criticize you? Who are the people criticizing you? Do you understand? I just feel, if you if you ask me, I don't think I can do it. Or I don't think I want to do it. But if you do it, should I stop you from being my friend? Do, has that changed anything about who you are to me? You, you don't even judge a book by its cover. That's right. So many people, so many people has different... Um, What's that English ideology about you? And I'd be like, <sighs> okay, perspective, perspective, of you. yes, perspective of me. And I'd be like, oh, that's your, that's your problem. My life, my life um, outside the camera is different from what you all say online. I know. And I love it that way. That's right. So many people think they know me, but they don't know me. Mm. Mm. Like half people that will tell me that, ah, if only they get to know you. 
then they will know that you are just this simple and loving person. Mm. But you know, in the industry, they feel ah, bah, kinikal, kinikal. People watch it. Viewers will say ah, say yeah, kinikal, kinikal. I love it that way. That way. I love it that way. That's why I said I don't like to bring my, you know, my private life to the public. public. What do you think of the industry? A lot of people out there believe that oh, we love Vara, we love Vukiniko, oh man pretending, we shake and a lot of us believe that we love ourselves. Maybe kopoto, or maybe it can be for everybody. But what's your own take, or? How, how does it, I'm trying to, let me say it in Yoruba. Do you understand? So, so it has different faces to different people. So different people have different perspectives of the, perspective of the industry. Like, ah, the industry is this, the industry is that. What's your, I brought somebody and the person was saying, eh, Amy. Buy your shore, the industry. Allah Maje, they've kinni ah, they've taught me a lot. They so what's your own belief about the industry? Mm. And to be alive on outside the industry, everybody cannot like you. That's right. No matter how good you are, you still have some people saying, Oh, she's print she's pretending. Or oh, she wants people to say oh, she's nice. She wants people to to hail her that oh she's this, she's that. But no, you still have people that no matter what you do, no matter how small it is, they will just get irritated by your act, by by your looks and everything. So it's not only in the industry; it's just a general thing. Hmm. So coming back to the industry, uh. Industry is a very big place. Mm. It's it's like a world, another world on its, its own. own. So um, I'll just say I, I do me. I don't care if anybody likes me. I just I just want to do me. I want to be free. I don't want to be found somewhere talking about this person, and I, I will leave the person. I'll get to this place, talk about this person. I don't like it. I just I just want to be free. So it's not left to you. I have people that does not like me, that I know in the industry. Oh, wow. But I don't care. It does not stop me from seeing their movies. It does not stop me from congratulating them when I see them doing well. It does not stop me from laughing at their jokes. I just feel it's your problem. It's the problem you have with me. Not, not the problem I have with you. you. It's a, um, the the least you would do is for you to face me and say, okay, you want to you want to attack me. You want to anything you want to do, do it behind. That's none of my business. Mm. And we have people that that just loves you for who you are. That loves you genuinely, no matter who you are, no matter no matter what you think you are. You know, they will just love you effortlessly. Even in the industry, but man, so hey, there is no love here. There is no. There are still people. I have friends in the industry. I have supportive friends, to be precise. So mm. I won't say uh, industry or industry. Keneko keneko. Even oreta. Mm. You just have to be careful. Yeah, they say oh my, you're going Danny. That's right. So talk more of ore. Friends. Yeah. So. You in anything you do, just be careful with people. And I'm not a careful person. I'm so free spirited. It's it's not know when I get here. I want to play when I get. Except I am in a place that I feel okay. Really, uh, one this person is there. She does not like me. Let me just keep my cool. Hmm. You know, so it's, it's just like that. It's just a general thing, not only in the industry. So. Everybody cannot like you. That's right. So I don't expect hundred even Jesus Christ. <laughs> not everybody, not everybody likes, likes him. him. Mm. So, who are we to mm -hmm. now say, okay, I want this person to love me? Uh, let me be diplomatic about this thing. So, they would like me. They will not say, ah, can you, can you come? You just be careful generally and do you, regardless. Mm. Just do you. Mm. That's how I feel. So, and that's how I live my life. Has anybody or anyone done anything 
to you or say something that it's difficult for you to forget. I can never forget. Adibiola, this thing, I say it on every interview because it keeps ringing in my head. That where would an actor look at me and say, I don't kiss. I only kiss a list actor. I say it in almost all my interview because yeah. it really got to me and I'm like, ah, ah. I don't understand. Say that again. Atibiola. Eh? Oh, God. <laughs> say that again. Somebody said what to you. Yes. Somebody told me on set that year that. Um, okay. Told my director at first that, okay, I think there's this kissing, kissing scene there. I won't kiss her. So I think my, my director thought it was a joke. It was Shemolaya that directed the movie that time. Mm. Um, so, um, usually I don't mention names, but I'll mention name of this. I think I love your show. so <laughs> <laughs> Thank I'll, you. I'll, I'll, I'll mention his name. So, he already told my director earlier that it's a kissing scene. I won't kiss her. But, you know, I was not there. So the actor said that. Yeah, Who is the, the actor? The actor, Nino. Nino. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, so I was not there. So when I got to the set, the director gave us lines and everything. So we were acting along, and everybody knows Shemon Laya is an artistic director. Mm -hmm. He is he's, he's very detailed. So he, he actually caught us at a point and he said, Happy Care looked straight into his eyes. So people would know that you guys are lovers, you know, your viewers would be able to feel the emotion and everything. So I did that and it was not satisfied enough. He, he said, Cut! Happy Care, you're not getting it. Look straight into his eyes. Don't blink your eyes. Don't get it. I was, I was already smiling. That, ah, hey, Mr. Details. So I did that again at first. It, it just it just stopped the director like, what do you mean by that? Ah, so reset for me. Ah, that's all I get my show, I don't have time for all this. I didn't say a word. I I kept my cool and I did what I was supposed to do. So it got to the kissing part and the director said, okay, so, um, uh, Mr. Actor, you, you, it's time you get to kiss her and everything. He just, he just fled up. Shell, sorry, put shell on you, man. How not take it? What do you mean kiss? I already told you after reading the scripts that what am I kissing? I only kiss any actors. Huh? I don't kiss, I, I don't even know, you know. It was crazy. I don't I, understand. <laughs> no, okay. Nino said he doesn't know you that he, he, he only kiss. Yeah, that he, he, he only he kiss, only kisses kisses um a, a list actors that he does not kiss upcoming actors. Yes. Oh, that was what he was trying yeah. to say. Yeah. Eh? Why? How? Auntie Bella, you asking me why? <laughs> <laughs> I was okay. surprised too. Shell, it was because. Of you, that's why I'm still here. I already told you in camera that uh, I can't kiss her. I can't kiss her and I won't kiss her. Do you want to force me to kiss her? My director was like, but it's in the script. This is the only place that would um, show that, okay, they, there is connection between them because of um, the kind of, the, the, um, the, the part of the story. This is where it would tell us that, I said I am not kissing. It was it was a crazy time for me on that set. Like I looked at myself. Whose job was it? My godmother, Lola Margaret. Oh, okay. So I was playing the lead. So I felt it. So um, my director was like, "But no, it's just normal." At least, no, don't tell me that. I will scrap this scene at ah, oh What did I cried. You, do? you cried. I cried. Because even if you tell me that you don't kiss upcomings like me, it shouldn't be in my presence. At least I'm a lady. <laughs> Respect is reciprocal. 
it's not a must you kiss me. I don't even want to kiss you, man. You know, on that same set, though, it was two different locations from the same producer and two different directors. He kissed Muji. But <laughs> there was a but because he told few of the crew to step out that he only wanted the director and the camera person. Uh, what? With, with the actor. And I was like, okay, is this person a A-list actor? Is this person an A-list actor? Uh, okay, let's get this straight. He's, he told you that he was not going to kiss anyone except an A-list A -list actor. actor yeah. So, to so another up-and-coming actor on the same, same location, location, but two movies two on movies, the same yes. set. One yes. producer yes. produces two, two movies, movies at the same time. Okay. So one producer produced two movies at the same time. Mm -hmm. So on the second movie, who produced the movie first? Lola Margaret. Lola Margaret. Okay. So who directed the first movie that he said he, won't, he wasn't going to kiss She won't lie, yeah. Okay. The second one? She Okay. So he took in the actor. So I don't. I didn't understand that part quite well. That's what I'm saying. Mm. He said he only kisses A-list actors. Okay. So on that set, different movies, but the same location. Yeah. The same producer, okay. two different locations. So he kissed another person, and as at that time, she was not an A-list actor. Okay. I think it was Muji or something. I don't know. I can't remember the person. He okay. kissed her and he walked some crew out. He said they should, you know, that he wanted only the, the director and the camera person to, to, to be there. Maybe, maybe he was shy. I'm, I'm not part of the people that I don't want to talk, but I get pissed anytime I remember that. Mm. I, get, I get extremely pissed. Pissed. Like you don't even people value women. Mm. There's this way God created us. It's from heaven. You have you just have to respect us. You just have to value us. That's uh, Auntie Biola, you, you should uh, you I should don't. understand me. So you feel disrespected. Disrespected. I mm. felt ashamed. I felt I felt bad. Once more, I looked myself in the mirror and said, am I that ugly? <sighs> Anyways. How many years ago was that? Uh, it should be like five years ago. You know, I used to be really skinny. You weren't that skinny. Uh, five years ago, you weren't that skinny. skinny. Uh, okay. Mm. So, you know, it was, it was a difficult time for me on that set and... My crew came together, they cheered me up. They said, Don't worry, your time is here. Hmm. We will celebrate you soon. You remember this day and say, Oh, thank you, God. I just texted my godmother. I said, Ancelola, I don't think I can do this. Ah, I'm crying as I speak. She could not come straight to me. I think she was downstairs and I was in a room where we were shooting. So she started praying for me. She said, Zainab, don't worry. You shall be great. I will celebrate you. I will be in one corner one day and you'll be able to tell your story. This is part of the challenges you, you would go through, go through. As, mm -hmm. as an actor. Mm -hmm. So if you don't go through this phase, how would you tell your story? That's right. How would you tell people who I, I faced a lot, I, I went through I some process? Mm. So don't worry. Don't worry. Like I said, I'll be here to, to cheer you off again and mm. tell you, oh, daughter, you made it. Mm. You know, today, yeah, I am glad that the actor would see me and want to kiss me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that time, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what came over him. But then... Mm. I, w I just felt bad. I know this is really hurting you, but you have to let go. But fair enough, Nino himself is not a bad person. Mm -hmm. I think he might just have an impression because I know um, sometimes he feels that um, maybe a lot of girls comes for him. So 
you might want to. I don't know what he saw, but apparently you didn't like how he reacted to it. But what he the, saw, he didn't see anything. <sighs> uh, well, please, we are we are colleagues, we are brothers and sisters, and so I know brother. you. He is actually, he's, he, fair enough, he's a very, he's a very free will person. He might not be the, the jovial, but he's very, very kind at heart, so that I know about him. Oh, okay. Uh, he, uh, what's, oh, okay. Okay, Atibiola. <laughs> no, I'm serious. So please forgive him. Let me go. Thank God you even mentioned the name. So we, we know that, ah, okay, so this person, anytime he sees you, he probably will say, oh, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. So you know how he talk. Ah, no, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't. He's a very lively, he's a very nice person. I nice hope person. you know. I don't know about that. I know about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let me go to my last question so I can allow you to go. So what um what will you tell the younger generation that are coming after you? I know you've been in the industry for a while. How long have you been around? Yeah, I met my boss 2011 and um, started officially 2012. That's about 11 years ago, right? Ah. <laughs> okay, so what would you advise the younger ones coming into the industry? Apparently, you know, a lot of youth out there wants to be an actor, I want yeah. to act, I want to. What would you like to tell them? Um, I will say this no matter what you do in life, Always put God first. God is the major key. When you have God, you have everything. Things will start working in your favor, you know. Hard work. Hard work pays a lot. Um, at least to me, I am seeing the results of my hard work. Um, perseverance, you know. Um, what else? Um, hard work, good, perseverance, humble. You have to, humility. you have to, you have to be humble. Your humility would pave so much ways for mm -hmm. you. You know, you are into, um, is it, um, finger food, small chops or drinks at some yeah, point? Yeah, palm wine. Oh, you think it's our job. Ah. He's so jealous. I know. You know, sometimes we want to eat our cake and have it. But you know, while while we are still chasing that that thing, you would have to face it squarely. Yeah. So I was I was here and there and I could not meet up. Hmm. So the people I put to in place to to help me with the business messed it up mm. so i had to close it down coupled with the fact that i relocated from that area to another area yeah. so we are still coming back oh. by god's grace oh okay mm. okay all right um zainab thank you so much for coming on the show i would like to ask one more question before you go what has life taught you generally and what is one thing that you wish you didn't do? So far, so good. Koni Baje, let me see you. Go lo lo lo. Hey, go lo lo lo. This one. Yeah, this one. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. What's nothing? Nothing. There's nothing that you have done that you wish you didn't do. Growing up till now, what has life taught you? So much, but life has taught me never to give up. Never to give up. Yes. Mm. No, ma no matter the situation you find yourself, just keep pushing. Mm. Push. Push through. God will come through for you. I know. Push through. God will come through for you.
push through. Thank you so much, Okoyemi. I love you. I'm grateful you're here. You made our day. We love you so much. This is a small gift from us to you, from Talk to Be, uh -uh. to say thank you, that we appreciate your time, uh -uh. that we are grateful you made it here. Atibiola, this is not small. Ha, 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 like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We love you so much. Ah, ah, Tibiola, this is so much now. This is so much now. Okay, I need the flax. Ah, so when you walk, I want to show it on. Watch out to be You're welcome. I'm time. grateful. I appreciate so your time. We appreciate you coming. It was so nice to have you here. Thank Amen. you so much. God bless you. God Amen. will continue to honor you. Amen. Greater heights by the grace of God. Amen. Okay, guys. I'm sure you had a wonderful time with Omala and Niro. <laughs> she's just a senseless girl. Like she said, like we all know it. She just, just she doesn't just have sex. Ah, so full of mama. <laughs> guys do not forget to subscribe to this channel please like share you know drop a comment so that we know you love it like i said i'm sure you would have learned one or two things from her this is what talk to be is all about it's not just to entertain you alone of course you will laugh you will smile but yet pick something hold on to it is going to go a long way uh, till i come your way next week please for um, sponsorship or adverse placements, we're available. You can send um, a DM to talk to be 5000 on Instagram. If you want to help us, you know, I've been doing this all alone and it's a whole lot doing it. So if you would like to join me, you just want to help me, come with me live for your day. Please, you're welcome. Thank you so much all. Don't forget in whatever thing you're doing, put God first, be determined and stay focused. I love you guys. Till I come your way next week, stay blessed. Talk to B. 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 Share your experience.